Well, our movie expert Jim Hunter is here getting us set for the weekend and the big screen as well. And he gave us uh, some movies to maybe suggest and go see this weekend. Yeah, so we've got uh, three movies coming out this week. Uh, a couple of them are are really good. Some of them are, uh, one of them is actually kind of an Oscar contender. So uh, we'll get straight into First Man, All which right. is, uh, we were talking about this after, uh, uh, before the break, or during the break, yeah. rather. And uh, this is the story of the moon landing. Uh, Ryan Gosling plays Neil Armstrong. Uh, Claire Flo Foy plays... Uh, uh, Neil Armstrong's wife, Jason Clark, Kyle Chandler, co-star. Um, this is about the preparation and the execution of the moon landing. Uh, this is, it, Damien Chazelle directs this. He directed La La Land uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, what's interesting about this film is it kind of focuses on the personal life of Neil Armstrong and his relationship with, with Claire Foy, his wife. Um, and uh, a lot of the critics are saying that the personal life Life is just as as compelling as the mission itself. Uh, this is in a a tradition of true uh, true stories about the space program, such as Apollo 13 and uh, the right stuff, which came out in the 80s, which I really like. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's getting a little bit of Oscar buzz, Joe. We might be able to. Uh, might be able to talk about this uh, during Oscar time as well. So, I mean, is this focusing more on, like you said, his personal life? Yeah. But still tying in, of course, with what he did exactly. with NASA. So Exactly. Well, I mean, it, it looks like a great movie just from the little bit I've seen right there. And, of course, mm -hmm. it's uh, I loved Apollo 13, so you think, I'm not going to be okay with this movie. Then. I think you might be okay with this film. All right. I think right. this film might uh, might be very similar to Apollo 13, and I think it also might be very similar to The Right Stuff, which if you haven't seen The Right Stuff as well, that might be a, a film to include because right. that's a really good film. All right, cool. What else is next? What do we have? Uh, we've got Bad Times at the El Royale. This, this film is sort of... I, I, I thought about pitching this film as kind of a joke. So, uh, <laughs> a, a cleric, a soul singer, a salesman, two sisters, and a drifter walk into a hotel, and this happens. Uh, we've got this is directed by Drew Goddard, and it stars Jeff Bridges, John Hamm, Dakota Johnson. Um, this is kind of a, it's it's just a bunch of characters in an interesting place and a noir kind of thriller. Uh, breaks out. Uh, we're not really sure about the, some of the plot's twists and turns yet. I was going to ask you, I'm, I'm not getting a, a good plot here just yet. That's, that's actually, I think, the point. The point, you know, the, it, the trailer says seven secrets and seven characters and blah, 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 blah. Um, that kind of, uh, so it's not, it's not trying to tell us the plot. It's trying to give us interesting characters and sell the film based upon that and the star power. My suspicion is is that there is a plot. It's just uh, full of a lot of twists and turns, so they don't want to tell us. So I, you know, don't spoil the movie. It's um, it's almost coming off like murder mystery right about now in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a callback to a lot of those '90s films, like from *Dust Till Dawn* and *Pulp Fiction*, okay. where there were multiple characters, each having their own small arc that they're pursuing okay. and uh, what happens when you shove all of those characters together. Um, there was another film called uh, Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead that's, that's <laughs> very, very similar to that. Uh, that's the impression that I'm getting. This gets 76% on Rotten Tomatoes, so a lot of critics are recommending it. Okay. Um, I'll be seeing it over the weekend, and I'll let you know. Yeah, uh, please do. See, uh, see, if it's, uh, see if it's worth checking out as well. Yeah, because it's very mysterious as to what's actually happening there so in the scenes. Exactly, oh. exactly. So. Another mysterious film is the, the our next film. <laughs> okay, it's right. uh, Goosebumps Two. Uh, this is a sort of a this is a sequel to the Jack Black film Goosebumps, which came out uh, a few years ago. It's directed by Ari Sandel. It stars Wendy McClendon Covey, Madison Eisman, and Jeremy Ray Taylor. Uh, this is a kids movie. Um, Basically, two friends find an R.L. Stein unpublished book, and uh, one of the characters comes to life, and then the town is engulfed in Halloween fun through machinations of the plot. Um, what we're hearing about this is it's goofy and, and thinly plotted, 
But it might be enjoyable enough for kids. Well, I was going to say, I mean, that, that makes sense. It's a goosebumps. Right. So, I mean, it can't be too, too intense by, by any means. It has to keep the goosebumps theme going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, there, there is a question about whether or not Jack Black appears in this film. He was in the original <coughs> Goosebumps. Yes, right. We're not sure whether, uh, whether might, there might be surprise Jack Black. He was in a, a film called The House with a, the Clock on Its Walls. Correct, yes. Um, and uh, so the, they didn't include Jack Black in the marketing of this film, possibly because he isn't in it, and also possibly because uh, he's in a Goosebumps-like movie. Um, we'll have to go see the film in order to, to answer all of those questions. But critics uh, with their uh, around 30% Rotten Tomatoes rating are, uh, that's are a, suggesting that we don't. That's not a very good rating then. No. But again, it, it does like here though, it would be uh, just a good kids movie, especially the kids reading the Goosebumps books and sure, stuff like that. Sure. So, I mean, you know, I don't, I probably wouldn't give it a give it a try on that one either because <laughs> Goosebumps weren't my thing, but but nonetheless, still could be a pretty good kids movie. First Man and uh, Bad Times at El, El Royale, those are the two recommends from the credits. Yeah, yeah, the so First we'll Man, I actually got to give that one props. It did look pretty good. And yeah, piques my interest for sure on that. And one. those those special effects look really good as well. So. It makes the movie. I tell you what. All right.